Exponent rules, three, division. So um, what we're going to do is look at this fraction right here. We have x to the sixth over x to the third. So we could look, actually, to be honest with you, you could look at this as division. You can also look at this as simplifying fractions. They're both really the same thing. But anyways, now that I've done that, let's talk about how to do this. So if I have x to the sixth over x to the three, it is certainly not simplified. It is certainly not divided. This also means x to the sixth divided by x to the third. So you can see all I did was over here, I just rewrote it. So it says x to the sixth, so there they are. There's six x's, and then over here, there's three x's. Now, whenever the numerator and the denominator are the same thing, then it means that it's equal to one. So what I can do is cancel out all of the ones. So if I do x over x, x over x again, and x over x again, you could see what happens here is that I have three x's left over on the top. So you could say this is um, x to the third power over one. Remember when you're doing this that when everything cancels out from either the top or the bottom, that you always put a one. Don't put zero, like, oh, there's nothing down here now. Because if I put a zero down here, I just broke math. You can't have a zero in the denominator. So I put one. But we know that x to the third over one is just equal to x to the third. Uh, this one right here. So I rewrote it the same way. I have the x to the fourth power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel out all of the ones. Here and here, here and here. And then, like I just said, there's nothing left on the top, so I'm going to put a 1. And then down here, there's 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's the answer. Now, um, another way to look at this one right here is if you watch the video on negative exponents, that also is the same thing as writing it like that. Now, actually, this is the one that we want. But I wrote it like that because what I want to make you see now is the relationship between these exponents and what I got as an answer. So here I had a 6 and a 3, and then I ended up with x to the third. Here I had a 4 and an 8, and I ended up with x to the negative 4. So how does this work? Well, what actually happens when you divide is it's the opposite of multiplication. So when we multiply things with the same base, so if I have x to the third times x to the fourth, the rule is x to the 3 plus 4 gives me x to the 7th. But here we're dividing. So what happens is x to the 6th divided by x to the 3rd is actually x to the 6 minus 3. We subtract. Division is the opposite of multiplication, so of course it has the opposite calculation when we do it inside the parentheses like that. So we have x to the third, and that's indeed what we got. This one right here, uh, we got y to the fourth over y to the eight. That's y to the four minus eight. So four minus eight is negative four. Now, we can't leave it like that, as I said, so what we need to do is we need to move it down to the bottom like that. Okay, so that's basically the rule, is that as long as the base is the same, you're going to subtract the exponents, which is the opposite of when you multiply, you actually add the exponents when the bases are the same. Now let's look at these guys down here, because this is usually what you're going to encounter. Yeah, so I've got a couple of things going on. One thing you'll notice is now I've got these coefficients. Well, that's like a fraction. So this part right here, that's like easy fourth grade fraction simplification. So I have 2 over 8. That simplifies to 1 fourth. So I know whatever I have, I have a negative 1 fourth as a fraction. Now let's do this part here. Now we know the rule. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do x to the 5 minus 7. And so this is going to be an x negative 1 fourth x to the negative 2. But this is kind of ugly. So what I'm going to do is straighten it out a little bit. So we have a 1 up on the top. And this 2 is going to be on the bottom because it's negative down there with the 4. So it looks like that. And don't forget, the whole thing is negative. Um, it says that right in the beginning. So this would be our answer right here. This one over here, same deal. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this fraction part. So that's 3. 
Um, then it looks like I have an x. This would be x to the 1 because there's no exponent, right? So I do x to the 1 minus 5. And then I have this y here. So this is y 3 minus 2. So I'm going to get 3x. 1 minus 5 is negative 4y to the 1. So that's just y. So this is perfectly fine except this part right here cannot stay there. I'm going to have to move it down. So I have 3y over x to the fourth power just like that. Now here's a couple more examples. Now sometimes when you get a fraction like 3 fifths, you can't, you can't reduce 3 fifths. 3 fifths is 3 fifths, so I'm just going to leave it. Now there's another way to do this that I'm going to talk about right now. It's this, of course, right here. I could do the x to the 3 minus 5 thing, and then I have the y to the third. But that's not really actually how I do it. What I do is I relate it back to the canceling part. And right here, I can see there's five x's down here, and there's three up here. So there's actually two more x's down on the bottom than there is on the top. And then here, I have this y to the third. There's nothing down here to cancel, so I just leave it like that. That's how I do it. Um, but I wanted to sort of explain why that is before I talk about this shortcut, but this shortcut works out great for me. Um, if I look at this one here, I have a negative 2 on the top. Um, I've got 7x's here and 6 here, so the top has one more than the bottom does. And then here, the y has 6 and the y has 4 down here, so the top has two more than the bottom does. So I get that over 1, which is just the same as this times that. So that's how I like to do it. However, I showed you the other ways. You could rewrite it like this where you're using the parentheses if you want. You could also always write it out like this and cancel out things that are the same.